just update uh, Tyler's situation and uh, talk about what you missed without him and the fact he hasn't been able to get any traction this year for himself? Tyler is a day-to-day, -day, so not available for us tonight. Uh, we hope to have him for Tuesday. Obviously, we play three and four, so... Well, again, we hope to have him by Tuesday. If we don't, obviously, we have the eight-day break uh, after those three and four. So it'll be a true day-to-day. Uh, -day. I think what we missed from him was everyone slotted correctly. I know it's been a tough go for him. He's unable to get traction within his game. Um, you know, I just I feel for him. He gets a couple games injured, a handful of games injured, a couple games injured. Uh, but we have a very good record with him in the and it's and as you know, it's, it's not him having four point nights. It's him playing in our top six and slotting players where they belong. So um, that's what you miss, and it was just only a matter of time when his game was coming around where he's going to start filling the net. So uh, tough loss again, and but I, I feel more for, for Tyler and him trying to get his game in order. Can you speak to his demeanor with what, all he's gone through? Yeah, he's been good. Um, I mean, you see him on the ice. He's, he's competing. He's getting chances. Um, so I just I think it's unfortunate because he's a skilled guy. I think you need the rhythm and the pace of your game. Um, I know it sounds crazy, but every game he's played, he's turned the puck over less because it's slowing down for him. and He's getting more chances, and he looks more in rhythm. And then, you know, this is a little different setback. This is a true day-to-day. -day. The, the other ones, I mean, he's literally immediately looking at six to eight weeks. So um, keep battling. And we need him back. You had him <coughs> move Dylan for a bit and then moved him off the line. Was that more reflection on <laughs> other players? No, I just, I, and that line was good last year. You know, watching a lot of Detroit video from last year, I like the line, but they, for whatever reason, I think they get a mentality of it's going to be, I'm not going to say the word loose, but that when those three get together, it just feels like a run and gun. I mean, the, their their analytics, their their course is bad when they're on the ice. They they, they give up more chances than they get. Um, I just think it's kind of spreading out that offense and just a little mentality. I, maybe it's human nature. Maybe we could have done a better job as a staff. But when the three of them get together, I think it's okay. The horse race is on. <laughs> And we're not built like that, and it's not a recipe for success for us. So we've had them together for some, maybe some offensive spark, but we've had some success spreading those guys out throughout the lineup too. It does seem like Lucas has really been sparked yes. playing with Dylan. What do you see that those two? There's there's some definite chemistry there. Um, I mean, the goal they scored was classic, but it was a hard-working goal, and the fact um, – Raymond properly got above the play, stalled it, uh, and then Larks hunts it, and then they turn it into quick transition, and they do a little two-man game and against the back of the net. So uh, it's it's really fun when those two get going. It's really fun when those two are playing the right way, creating the proper offense, not cheating it. Like that goal four the other day was was an excellent example of doing it the right way. Yes, he one hundred percent taking strides in his two way game, uh, I, I, and I just I saw some of it earlier before he started get this really hot streak of filling the net lately and pointing a lot lately. But his game was coming along nicely throughout, and it's just I, I get the outside person looks in, and at the time points per game were down, and I think now they're above pace from last year. But that's credit to his game's been coming along nicely for a while now. It just happened. It's just happened to produce with offense now. It seems like you've used Fabs in a couple of different ways, Derek. I mean, is that just the value that he brings? Yes. I mean, you can trust him. him in a lot of different ways. Trust him. Any situations, we put him on lines to create some offense. Perfect example. We get in a goalie pull situation the other day, uh, where we needed to finish that game off. We put him up in our top six. Um, he's been in every situation. You know, on the power play, um, he's played some center for us and it's done great with that too. So versatile player, high compete. Um, you know, a couple of his hard wall plays have created offense, which is good. So yeah, he's obviously we're. It's a nice piece when he's available for us.
How do you avoid a repeat of last week when you were coming off a really energetic performance against Toronto and then so flat Saturday night at home against Columbus? Yeah, I think it's a great question. I wouldn't call it, I don't know if it's a repeat. First and foremost, I've been in this league enough now and I had to learn my my first experience in NHL. Those West Coast back to East Coast, you, you, there's a flat nature. I mean, if you look at analytically, statistically, that seems like the NHL for a long time. Team goes from West Coast to East Coast, has that day in between. It's it's flat after, so that'll be a challenge for us. But I just think it's it's. I don't know if it's repeat that. I just think it's. We want to make it a habit of when we have a period like that, it looks awkward. And I think we, for the most part, I mean, if you guys have seen us enough, if you think it through. You had that period um, against Columbus. You may have had the first period against, and I'm not talking outcomes or what's been on the score sheet, but the first period in Pittsburgh and maybe the entire Winnipeg game. Outside of that, I don't think anyone could sit here and be like, we've been awful. Uh, we've lost special teams. We've given up goals. We've had sporadic goaltending, which we all know. But I think it's m not so much – trying to protect against that but more being consistent with starts and games and we have an opportunity tonight against a really good team we have the same amount of wins as philly they're seven and three in their last ten we're kind of in the same spot we went about it differently you know we had the good start they had the poor start now they're one of the hotter teams in the league so and again no matter who our opponent is i think it's about us and getting that consistency in our game it's close. Doctor's going to come tonight, which is pretty standard um, in that, you know, we have the medical day-to-day, -day, but game nights, the decision-making doctors, if you will, will be here. So that'll be an opportunity for them to meet tonight and then uh, go from there. So we hope to have them sooner than later. And just that lower body, he's had some ups and downs and some setbacks. So, um so, yes, we hope to have them sooner and later. You see it back to uh, West coming back East and how tough that is. Any workarounds or tricks of the trade you've learned along Great the way? Great question, Are you yes. Your team for that? I mean, and, and I give our leadership. Uh, we originally, you know, we go through, Steve, myself, we, we plan the entire year out with our travel. Um, and a lot of it is to do just give yourself competitive advantage best you can. And we were originally going to play Vegas and come back that night, uh, fly through the night for some other um, protect versus advantage. I guess one less night in Vegas, probably a benefit for <laughs> every manager and coach out there. Um, but it wasn't what the norm is. The norm is those longer trips, it's a certain miles or hours where you stay over because of rest. And I give Dylan credit. He came to me a month ago, <clears throat> and he's like, can we stay over in Vegas where we're more prepared Saturday in um, against Philly? And he basically said we, we needed to look like the San Jose Columbus. If you guys recall, we played in San Jose, brutal travel. We flew all the way. We literally landed in Columbus 6 p.m. that night, had to turn around and play the next day. We were excellent. So... I think there is some of that, but a lot of it, I think, is just a mentality, a will. Ask the guys to be sharp and skate this morning with the day off yesterday with a full travel day. So, again, we're, we're going to emphasize and push a start. I think both teams are really going to be pushing for a start. Obviously, you have a team in Philadelphia who's been one of the better teams in the league in the last 10 games, and they're coming off a loss in Chicago, which they played very well, but I think it was a loss. So I think both teams are really going to be battling for a good start.